The Empire Strikes Back, a way better movie than The Last Jedi. Hey, so what if I told you this was Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and I'm Ethan Van Skyver, a comic book artist and a big Star Wars fan, and uh, it's time for another toy review. I missed you guys. Missed you guys while you were asleep. Yeah, well, we're up now. We're ready to start a new day, and it's time to do a groovy new toy review. Um, lately, I've been reviewing good stuff. Uh, Hasbro has actually been releasing, look at Force Link 2.0. This is new. This is new. They've been releasing great. Oh my. Yeah, so they've been releasing great stuff lately and um, stuff from quality films um, featuring characters that uh, we love. Uh, this is Luke in Hoth Gear. Do you remember this? Do you remember how scratched up he was uh, after this encounter um, with this monster here? Now, I love Star Wars monsters. I love them. This is a fantastic illustration. It looks like something I would have drawn. Uh, you know, uh, big growly face, lots of jagged teeth, and big hands. That's the thing right there. You could have got the hands right in there, right in the camera there, uh, like that. That's awesome. Just awesome. Didn't get much of a look of, at uh, the original Wampa um, in the original version of Empire Strikes Back. It wasn't until George Lucas did um, a makeover in the 90s on his original trilogy that we got uh, a few more frames of the Wampa and we got to see his full body. Uh, I have to say, uh, as usual, I disagree with uh, almost every decision George Lucas made post-1983. or I know, I know some of you were just like, yeah, well, Revenge of the Sith ruled, and, and I like the prequel trilogy. All right, I like some of it, too. Um, but I do uh, think that the idea of only seeing the monster, uh, the Wampa, and just glimpses and brief flashes, um, I think it was more effective. It was a little bit more Alfred Hitchcock of George Lucas to show that kind of restraint. Um, and I think it was uh, much, much better for the movie. Uh, having said that, when the toy came out, I was thrilled to see um, what the Wampa actually looked like. And uh, this is just great right here. One of, one of the best illustrations on um, a series of just knockout, excellent package illustration uh, over at Hasbro. Um, yeah, I'm happy about this. You know, it's like people say this channel is nothing but negativity, Ethan. No, no, I'll, I'll give praise where praise is due. I, I really will. It's just that so much of this is garbage. So much of this is garbage, but when they actually do put out something that is good, that Star Wars fans um, actually want and respect and like, uh, we're going to all come together and say, yeah, we're going to purchase this. This is a purchase for me. Um, so let us uh, look at the box here. Is there any more good art? Um, ugh, that we're on the Force Link 2.0. Uh, we can see on the back of the box what uh, the creature looks like inside. Uh, bonus, his arm comes off. Sweet. Uh, Luke Skywalker, of course, has his lightsaber. Um, this was one of those moments in the original trilogy where you really got to see um, how amazing the Force was. And again, it's all about restraint. Um, you know, just because you can show it, just because you could do it, just because it would be, um, you know, more impressive visually maybe, doesn't mean that you should do it. The idea that Luke was hanging upside down in this snowy cave and he had to clear his mind and he, he put his, do you remember, he just put his fingers together like this above his head, concentrated, and then reached out. And he reached out and the lightsaber came to him. It was sitting in the snow maybe, I don't know, four or five yards away, and it flew to his hand. Now, that simple thing was so powerful. Um, it, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't need to summon lightning. He doesn't need to um, fly through the, the icy cold vacuum of space using the force. He doesn't need to even be a force ghost himself. Uh, it's just, it's the simple, the simplicity um, that is so magical. It's not seeing everything. It's our imagination being allowed to flourish. Um, you know, wondering what the limits are of the Force. Um, wondering what this snowy, you know, toothy, hairy monster might look like. That's the stuff that actually activates people's imaginations. And that's, uh, unfortunately, uh, where a lot of the shortcomings um, fall in movies today, not just the, the recent Star Wars movies, but movies in general, especially horror movies, ghost movies, they show too much. Um, they, you know, um, they let uh, the viewers, uh, 
you know, imaginations atrophy um, because they're giving them so much and not letting them exercise uh, their sense of wonder. Um, so this toy um, is, you know, uh, a kind of, it's a nice prize because, again, you get to see um, your imagination fulfilled. Um, but in general, yeah, it's like, I just like, I just like to sort of, you know, uh, catch glimpses of things like this and then just let my brain fill in the other details. I'm pretty good about that. I'm pretty good about filling in details with my imagination. Now we're going to take some scissors. Again, we're going to be respectful with this package. We're not going to rip it open. Um, yeah. Respect. All right. And yeah, this is a nice substantial offering. I'm going to pull this out carefully. And as you can see, uh, our Luke Skywalker looks great. Um, and he's got a nice lightsaber. He's got a blaster that looks a little like Han Solo's, um, uh, but it isn't. That That is Luke Skywalker's gun, I do believe. I don't believe that's Han Solo's gun. Um, all right, we'll take him out of the packaging. Cannot complain uh, about Hasbro's action figures uh, and likenesses. Um, we do have one problem because, uh, you know, unlike their other um, toys that are based on the more recent movies, uh, they can take 3D scans um, of, of the participants, of the actors uh, in costume and pr like digitally print out um, beautiful, perfect likenesses, uh, three-dimensional renderings of their faces now um, with uh, these older characters that happened um, before uh, that was possible. Uh, I think they do actually have to get in there and, and sculpt these out. Uh, so the likenesses aren't going to be bang on perfect. I complained about the Han Solo and the Boba Fett um, and Han Solo 2-pack uh, yesterday. Um, this is a little less of a problem than that. I think Luke looks pretty good. I'm happy with the likeness. Um, the eyes are painted on very carefully. Um, the detail on his boots is wonderful. His belt looks terrific with all the little rivets in it. Look at the tiny little detail on the rivets there. Uh, look at the nice detail on this patch on his shirt. He's got a badge here. And of course, the, one of my favorite features of these Hasbro toys, the gun holster. So let's carefully, where are my tweezers? Uh, oh yeah, put them over here. All right. I will double WD-40 my chair because it's, it's just way too squeaky lately. All right, so here is the gun. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that right in this holster so it doesn't get lost and see how that fits and if it's okay I mean you know it, it does look like it's gonna eh, it's in there pretty good alright and then we've got a nice blue lightsaber you know I'd almost prefer it if we got one of each I'd like to just get the holster this doesn't come out I would like to just get the the lightsaber holster and then I would like to get a complete lightsaber just um, to, to reenact uh, this complete scene uh, that's a little overlook by Hasbro, but it's okay. I mean, you know, uh, even still, I think the major playability factor is to have uh, the complete lightsaber. Uh, Luke Skywalker, yeah, five out of five. I mean, he looks he looks great. All right, so we'll get rid of this, and now is the fun part. We'll open this box. a point where you can't be respectful anymore because you actually have to yank it out of the packaging. All right, there we go. Uh, our Wampa is much smaller than I thought he would be, to be honest with you. Uh, he is restrained by the patriarchy, so we're going to have to snip those bindings. Uh, there is his wounded arm, and his other arm is not tied down at all. And takes a little muscle to get that in there but there we go he's pretty cute oh wow he's really he's got a lot of joints uh, he actually feels like and he's very heavy too which is what I, I hoped he would be heavy um, look at this swivel uh, nice joint here ball joint with well, one of these so you can make him swipe um, yeah I love his paws they look great uh, his mouth is just covered in blood here uh, he looked, what a great toy for a kid. Um, he is jointed in the knee, and he has a swivel on his feet. And there is his uh, force link, which I'm sure will simply make him snarl. I wouldn't know, because I threw mine out. Um, but yeah, uh, very, very cool. 
I'm happy with him. Uh, my complaint is that I think he's too small. I don't know if he is proper scale. What do you guys think? Is he too small? I just remember the uh, original Kenner version um, being much bigger in comparison to the figures. Um, maybe like, maybe he would be like this tall. Uh, but I might be misremembering, and this might be accurate. In any case, this is a wonderful sculpt. Uh, I love the big, you know, splayed fingers on his paws. Uh, he looks like he wants a hug. Uh, that's nice. Um, and great detail on the feet. I, I just love this. I have to say, um, this is this is terrific, Hasbro. Great job. Great job. I, I will keep both of these. These are not going in the garbage. They're not going in the garbage. Um, fantastic. All right, let's just see what the directions say, even though I don't think we need directions. Force link instructions, we've been through that. People tell me that now the force link works, even though, uh, you know, the, these directions are, are extremely confusing. The truth is, to, to get the force link to work, you don't need to wear it at all. You don't need to wear it. You can just set it down on the table and then touch your, or, you know, bring your toy into the proximity of the force link and it will activate him. I, I, I don't know about all this. Um, I've rarely been able to get it to say anything different than one initial statement. I think each of them can say maybe two or three things and then make some sound effects. Um, here we have directions uh, in case you didn't, you couldn't figure out how to put the arm um, on him. Uh, they go ahead and they say, look, there's an arrow to remove the arm right here and also an arrow indicating that the arm can be put back in. So uh, there are no tools needed here, although assembly is required. Uh, let's test that and let's find out if we need a tool. Okay, yeah, the arm comes off. Do I need a, what do I need, a, a hammer? Do I need a mallet? Uh, I don't know, forceps? No, no, no. It's, okay, it seems to go in without tools and it goes in this direction when you put it in and you pull it in that direction when you take it off. So somebody got paid to draw this and um, cheers, you know, good for you. Um, yeah, so five stars two uh, two thumbs up ready for the best matchup ever oh yes you guys are magnificent you guys are great I don't know if I tell you that enough do I tell you how great you are this channel is growing at an outrageous rate and I think it's because you're so engaged with this content thank you to all of you who are contributing to this channel's growth via my patreon um, if you'd like to join this community, we'd love to have you on board. Um, you know, like the video, share the videos, watch all the videos. If you'd like to join the Patreon by pledging a dollar or more, the link is in the description below. I mean, you know, we'll put your name in there for next month. But this month, you guys are the guys who helped out, and this channel's content is dedicated to you. It's for you, and thank you so much.